Goon Swarm. Good afternoon. I was originally going to give this presentation with like some really cool notes and whatnot, but um, I went back to my hotel room to get changed and seemed to have passed out. Um, so uh, we're just going to go with what we have. Um, Cartoon originally begged me to take this presentation. Um, I'm not much of a presentation guy per se. I was really looking forward to it. I was like, hey, yay, presentation. Um, but he came to the conclusion that if he didn't get somebody to do it, the Matani was going to do it. Um, and there was already a, uh, a round table for long-winded pseudo-intelligent douchebags. So, <laughs> so he came to me and he said, he said, Darius, I would like you to give this presentation, but um, there's one caveat. I want you to look really classy. So this is what I have. By the way, do you have any idea how hard it is to find clothes for short fat people? <laughs> it is not easy. Uh, I'm going to hit next and hope that it comes up. Goons! What is a goon? Um, I found this description in a, in, in, in a Google search. Um, hoping to get outside opinion. Goons are apparently a bunch of uncouth, savage, crass, foul-mouthed, vulgar, immature, racist, epithet-uttering ogres who can't seem to say one sentence or make a single joke without using the worst of the worst profanity. Um, or referring to some body function, fluid, or body part, and then giggling like a ten-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> There's actually only about 20 people in Goon Swarm. <laughs> this is um, what we consider the standard director um, computer setup. Um, this is actually not a mock-up. This is a very real representation of a desktop. Um, we've rigged that mouse and keyboard to, through some magic box to all 20 of those screens. Um, we have instructions for how to set up your overview so that you're not like clicking or, oh god, I clicked in the wrong place. Uh, and, you know, between the 20 of us, we managed to get, you know, 100-man fleets and whatnot. Um, I, I'm hoping someday we'll be able to actually do something with that. <laughs> but in the meantime, we have really cool desktops. <laughs> this is a map of where we live. I was hoping also, um, before I actually passed out in my hotel room, to have a laser pointer so I can point at things. Um, that didn't occur. But if you look down in the lower left, there's an interesting goon swarm symbol with a hand grenade. Um, uh, that's where we live, and the rest of the blue and gray are people who we're not necessarily killing. Um, people in red are people who we are. Um, Going to stick to the format. This is the uh, wonderful map from before 99 uh, was invaded, actually way back, going back about two years ago. Um, a, a lot's changed since then. Um, a particular alliance in the lower left-hand corner. <laughs> Um, who at the time was called Band of Brothers, decided they were going to attack us and take over some stuff in the lower right. Um, and then uh, something beautiful happened. Which is where we get here. Some of you may be familiar with this gentleman. <laughs> Boom! Headshot, he says. This is... <laughs> This is a map of Delve. I, I don't think I'm going to wait long enough for it to load all the way up. But this is actually an interactive map of Delve going down the... Day, there's day one. Oops. Yeah, somebody lost their stuff. <laughs> going down from the day of the invasion until it's finished. I, I'm going to go ahead and talk over it. At the end, what you'll find is that um, despite this 
this you know advantage that somebody was already there. Um, the the real advantage was Sob four. Um, we don't like Sob four, so we kind of said, hey, maybe we should level the playing field a little bit, and then. South Ford magically disappeared. So it, there was just that pesky thing of dealing with 530 passes that we had to, had to deal with. So of course, you know, like everybody likes to say, it's all about one dude pushing a button. That's the only reason we won it. And those 520 towers, really, they self-destructed before we got there. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is a uh, picture of our... Uh, it, 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 when you manage an alliance of, of 20 people, you, you, you sometimes need external applications to kind of help make things happen. Because, you know, as awesome as he is, um, it doesn't necessarily have the corporate management capability that scales to 20. Uh, so, what we've had to do is create external applications to deal with. Um, uh, things like reinforced passes and, and, and whatnot. And this is a screenshot from our, our uh, uh, pass management app during the Delk campaign. What we used to do is just kind of highlight them and say, okay, kill this, leave this one alone, because you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. Um, in this particular case, we were like, fuck it. <laughs> Kill everything. This is what the map currently looks like. <laughs> Which is part of why we, we uh, invited the CSO and everything else kind of said, hey, you know, zero zero could really use the looking at because there's not a lot left for us to shoot at. <laughs> um, goons aren't really fond of these fancy maps. They're, they're, they really, there's a lot of information here. Um, so we use our own. <laughs> um, this, is, this is what the map looked like prior to the Delve invasion. Uh, and, and nowadays it's a little different, so I've had an artist go back and, and <laughs> reach by the map. Uh, it's, it's a lot better now. Uh, this is a, uh, it, we don't really like to get into, uh, we have titans. Everybody has titans. We don't really like to use them for, you know, stuff like blowing people up and whatnot. This is actually a Bob Poss in 49 Dash. Um, we decided if you're gonna put a Poss there and, 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 and try and be cool, um, we're just gonna put 27 Titans in front of it and build a giant Congo line. Because <laughs> what else are you gonna do with them? Blow stuff up? <laughs> Jihad Swarm. <laughs> This gentleman is a follower of the Prophet cartoon. Um, he has with him his beautiful Jihad Swarm Bible and uh, his avatar. Um, the Jihad Swarm has been quite active recently in Losak. Um, I believe we took down a rather troublesome and meddlesome corporation called New Eden Research, um, who was doing all manner of nasty things. Uh, and uh, we started kind of clearing out low sex systems, but uh, the point being um, that if you have a pause and you're not in zero, zero, this guy's probably uh, looking at you somewhere. Sorry. <coughs> Obligatory fart noise. That's a trek. We have, <laughs> go ahead and watch this and just kind of listen to me as it goes. I internally in Goonswarm, we have um, different squads that we break everybody up to. Uh, into to make things more manageable. Um, the downside of goons is that um, we can't have something nice without killing each other. Uh, um, so this was Epsilon Squad creating an interesting presentation uh, based on their hatred of Rose Squad, um, which uh, it, it got ugly. You know, it, it blow them up, set a course for weed. What else are you going to do? <laughs> this is an interesting piece of propaganda I came across the other day. Um, what, it, there's, there's a lot that's interesting about it. Um, one of the interesting things being that I came across it the same day we destroyed their capital fleet. 
I, I think this came from Siskane Coven, I could be wrong. Um, the, the, the beauty, I think, it, 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 this is a segue into propaganda. The beauty, I think, of this particular propaganda is the fact that dude couldn't figure out how to spell or even put spaces between words, but he used a comma and semicolon properly when, <laughs> when he heard it. And I thought to myself, I don't even know how to use a comma and semicolon properly. And we'll segue from there into some of our propaganda. This is something for newbies um, to kind of help them learn and, and figure out what it is they're doing. Because uh, uh, when you get in fleet, isn't the time to be asking questions. Uh, perhaps you should do the tutorial. This was Groot. Um, sometimes you have a nice strong chain and there's weak links in it. This is the, this particular piece of propaganda came from the evacuation of Rise from um, Constellation in the South. Uh, if one looks closely, you may see perhaps the evacuation of uh, Saigon, but there happens to be a Titan there. Uh, the difference between Saigon and the Rise situation is that in Saigon, the Titan actually showed up. <laughs> Uh, this is just a really pretty, pretty picture. We used to use a, a, a you know, a, as who doesn't, Lord of the Rings themed call to arms type stuff. This is the writers of Goonhan. You got your Brosefs on the left, other stuff on the right. And though, if there's one thing goons take seriously, it's our posting. Um, it, 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 we don't really care so much about what happens in a spaceship video game. Um, but when it comes to our forums, shit is real. Uh, this is a moderator who nobody seemed to care for called Moon Kitten, whose moderation capability seems to come from a bizarre scientific mixture of pee pee and doo doo. <laughs> Some people ask me sometimes, Darius Johnson, how awesome has it been CEO of Goonfleet? Which I'm not anymore, by the way. I didn't do an introduction. I retired for the birth of my child. Um, the it, it, it's pretty awesome, except that goons take their posting very seriously. The goon fleet CEO, some people don't quite get, is nominated based on a a, a, a score that we get on our own forums. We have this thing called rep, right? So if you make a good post in a thread. Anybody in Goon Fleet can give you positive rep. Okay, bro, nice post, positive rep. So you get plus rep in comment, right? But anybody on the forum can also give you the negative rep. <coughs> the Goon Fleet CEO, once somebody retires, is decided based on who has the most positive rep, right? But as you can see here, maintaining positive rep um, tends to be a problem once you become the CEO. Uh, and Goons are not afraid of giving you their opinion. Um, bad post, bad poster, bad CEO. <gasps> Sorry. I have a weight problem. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the other way goons get back at you. Um, we, have our, we have our rep scores and we have our photoshops. Uh, this was actually very hurtful. Uh, and I was actually very hurt. And there was also this, we, we, we took the um, scope reporting video and somebody saw fit to spend hours and whatnot um, renaming Epsilon Station and making note of the fact that no Darius Johnsons um, should be docking there. I was upset. Goons also like to give me little special surprises that I'm not quite expecting. Um, there's the rep and the videos and the other things that occur. But then sometimes you get a little pile of gold from a GM. Um, in this particular instance, um, the, let me read the actual complaint. Oh, somebody seems to have set up a pass with the modules in the form of a swastika. <laughs> Not my fault. I didn't do it. But apparently, it's something that needed to come to my immediate attention. 
Um, the next one, uh, station names. <laughs> Apparently the station name, G.I. Joe Day Rate Memorial. Unacceptable, according to the terms of service. Uh, we need to take the word rape out of the name, which we did, by the way. Which leads me to my next slide. Uh, which is which is that change the station name to the G.I. Joe Surprise Sex Memorial it was not sufficient. Uh, so a GM decided to step in and, and, and fix that particular problem in that case. Uh, this is a response to a question that I had, actually, uh, because I, I, I've had about 20 um, little surprise piles of gold from the GM staff since I took over Goonsworth. In this particular case, um, it was our alliance description. I don't set the alliance description. I mean, anybody can do that. Uh, in this particular case, um, the GM staff found the alliance description offensive to humanity. <laughs> or human society, as they read it. And apparently, uh, though they can see that there might be some kind of self-condescending humor, um, saying that Goonflee is a collection of HIV plus individuals from the popular gay hookup site somethingawful.com, was a bit over the line. <laughs> humanity, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to bust through these sides really quick because I'm pretty much done. Uh, Goomping is... Everybody knows about the Bob Barbecue. Right? In Goomfleet, we ourselves like to get together to, you know, chat and have discussions. Uh, talk about spaceships, that's pretty much most of it. Uh, th this is a series of pictures that I'm going to breeze right through from various <coughs> Gooms that we've had real life. Um, conversations. Some of you may remember this particular chunky Aspie. He uh, asked a question at the first Pan Fest in 2006, to which Over basically vomited and uh, it gave us the memorable quote, a titan's not supposed to be cost effective, it's a giant dick. <laughs> I, I, I did some research um, and apparently giant dicks are cost effective. <laughs> so, I'm not quite sure what Over was going for. This is uh, Goonfleet Karaoke uh, playing air guitar, of course. Um, I, I'm not quite sure what song, what song it is, probably Journey. This is Astro doing a little dance. This is a picture we like to call Daitengo Shrimp, that JPEG. He is fat and he is eating shrimp. This gentleman you can buy beer for. And that's it. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we have time, maybe, well, we don't actually have time, but I'm going to make time for a few questions for the, for the goon uh, person. <laughs> I'm an aeronaut. <laughs> Quite. Um, is it true? that the intention of the goon swarms is to break Eve? That is quite an interesting question. I, I, I think it's a mischaracterization... Uh, yeah, somebody just woke up. I think it's a mischaracterization based on statements that we made where, I, I mean, the bottom line is ourselves, just like you, or just like most of the people sitting in this room, gain our joy from blowing your shit up, right? <laughs> Nothing makes me happier. Then you going to a station, buying a ship, and do 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 do. I'm gonna go fly my ship. <laughs> and you, maybe you'll take some screenshots of you kind of do undocking. <laughs> and, you know, you can do some cinematic cannons and whatever. Nothing makes me happier than w when you're so happy with that ship blowing it up. <laughs> That's Eve, right? So it, 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 you know, is is my goal to destroy the game Eve Online? Obviously, of course not. We've brought a lot to EVE Online. We've done a lot of work to try and make EVE Online better through the CSM and, and, and in other ways. We just, we, we didn't log in so we could play a shitty game. I mean, ultimately, we, we, we want to log into something that's fun and, 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 and ongoing. If I blow you up and the next day EVE is gone, 
well, that really doesn't do much for me because now I got to go download stupid anime games. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play those? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can be a stalker. <laughs> it's, it's not interesting. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, the, the idea that people have is that we are out to destroy the game, I think is, is what was put to us. But I think that quote is kind of taken out of context. Um, at the end of the day, our goal is to destroy your game. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I think that needs to be taken seriously. Next question. My question is also for Darius, um, ex-CEO of Gunswarm. Uh, Darius Johnson, in Judeo-Christian culture, the snail was often viewed as a manifestation of the deadly sin of sloth. How do you feel that you have brought this uh, philosophy into the Goon uh, alliance and used it to better the Goon people? Did you specifically mention the deadly sin of sloth? The deadly sin of sloth, Okay. Yes. Um, if one might notice, I seem to have just showed up about five minutes ago <laughs> while putting on this wonderful gentlemanly outfit. I seem to have passed out of my hotel bed. I, I, I don't think I can demonstrate the deadly sin of sloth any better than sleeping through the presentation. I spent three days trying to create. <laughs> Okay, my question is also for the goon. Uh, I've heard a rumor once that the goon swarm started in Second Life and that they got banned because they made it rain dicks from the sky at some important meeting somewhere. Is it true? Um, some goons did indeed get banned from Second Life um, for making it rain dicks on top of other things. Yes. Um, uh, the only thing I can say in regards to that is that uh, the lady deserved it. This is Lota from The Collective, and uh, I would like to ask you, Goonswarm, what are you going to do when, against all authorities, he's going to invade your space? What are you going to do? I, I, think what, I, I think what we'll probably do um, is uh, pretty similar to what we did when Bob spent three years invading our space. Um, we're going to jump into rifters and, 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 and cry and pray. Uh, Goon Swarm is not only a collection of HIV plus individuals from the popularly gay hookup site something awful dot com, but uh, we are also all Mormons who believe, you know, to our soul. Uh, that the almighty uh, God will bail us out of pretty much anything. 